public from the PB Hotel Sky Camp facing the beach. Uh, right now, visibility is in pretty bad shape. If you're waking up in Fallbrook right along the 15, you may want to leave time for travel. It's also dropping off in parts of Kearney Mesa as well as Chula Vista. Uh, so right now, Southern California is in between two systems. We still have warmer air thanks to this area of high pressure, but we do have onshore flow strengthening, continuing to strengthen over the next couple of days due to this troughing pattern just to our north, impacting the Pacific Northwest. We have another system right behind that, and that's going to actually usher in some drier, a little bit of cooler air come this weekend. Then looking ahead to next Monday and Tuesday, high pressure will continue to expand westward, and that will usher in warmer conditions, along with tapping into some of that low-level moisture from the Gulf of California, as well as some of that mid to high-level moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So here's what you need to know as we get our Thursday going. Drier heat all the way through Friday. Soak it in. It's comfortable. It's hot still, but some people prefer that drier heat because it feels a lot less muggy. Daytime highs will continue to be near seasonal, and then we'll have that surge of monsoon and moisture bringing those muggy-like conditions returning this weekend. We do have thunderstorm chances mainly impacting our mountain areas. The chances are very low, and it looks like it will impact uh, our Saturday, drying out Sunday, and then returning Monday, <clears throat> Monday and Tuesday. Coastal areas will be in the upper 70s for the next seven days. I don't have a lot of change for you. I do know that there is a 5K as well as a half marathon happening. Uh, begins, I believe, in Point Loma and ends, uh, I believe, it's uh, the Balboa Park, Golden Hill area, if I'm uh, correct. It starts at 6.15. It will be cloudy, mid to upper 60s. And then by the afternoon, when it ends near the downtown area, it'll be really warm in the upper 70s. So if you have spectators, family, friends going to cheer you on, uh, make sure that they bring SPF and stay hydrated and perhaps wear some light loose colored clothing for that. Uh, we don't have a lot of change. Overnight lows will also remain mild in the upper 60s. Low 90s for the inland areas. Although we're starting off cool, temperatures are going to rise pretty rapidly. The reason we don't have as much of that marine layer expanding all the way to the inland valley. So Santee, here's your personalized hour by hour forecast. We'll be in the 80s by 10 o'clock, climbing to the 90s by the 2, 3 p.m. hour. And then we'll be in the mid 60s overnight. Again, it looks like daytime highs will be hovering in the upper 80s on Saturday. So Saturday, Looks pretty nice summer-like. Mountain areas in the mid-80s through the weekend. Desert, high near one, desert highs near 110 through next week.